Silver prices are lagging. Can they catch up to gold? Anthony, I put that question to you because silver seems really stuck. Like, yes, it's a safe haven metal, but we have anemic growth figures out of Germany, U.S., the EU, and China, and the industrial metal might not support silver. Yes, well, Alex, it is stuck right now. It's having a hard time getting above $40 and staying above $40. I have a feeling if gold is able to uh, trade above $1,800 and stay there for some length of time, silver might become that safe haven metal once again for fear that people don't want to get into gold at these high levels but still want a little safe protection uh, against all this um, debt issues that we're having uh, here and abroad. So yeah, that $40 area is going to be pinnacle again, buy it above, stay short below it, uh, you know, with tight stops. And then that 42 area that we reached a couple of weeks ago is going to be our next um, platform to get over to see if we have some continued support for this metal. All right, so silver may catch a bit if it follows gold higher. Investors need another safe haven vehicle. But is silver not reflecting growth concerns yet? Is it overvalued at these prices? I don't think it's necessarily overvalued. I think more or less that's why it's stuck because it's kind of fine. It's kind of found its price, um, you know, fair value price at you know give or take forty dollars. So yes, uh, you know that's probably going to be you know where it stays for a little bit of for a while until you know like I said to you before until we get over that eighteen hundred dollar area and people that need it are going to look to buy it and then you might even get some industrial demand if we you know stay above forty dollars and um and above we did get over the eighteen hundred dollar level in gold last week and it really did nothing for silver does it how long does it have to stay above eighteen hundred for silver to really catch a bid here well that eighteen hundred dollar mark was so quick you know we we hit eighteen oh one backed right off the overnight traded 1818 backed right off so silver really didn't have a chance to catch up so yes uh, $1,800 for a period of time let's call it you know a week uh, even a week of settling above $1,800 will give silver that confidence that it needs to uh, trade above and hold above $40 we have an expiration coming up in a couple of weeks uh, the end of this month September tw uh, August 26th for September uh, options in silver. We'll see what uh, that does. And again, you know, I can't stress it enough. This $40 area is your pivot. All right, so the big takeaway here is watch that $40 level, go long above it and go short below it. Thanks so much.